My name is Logan McCoy, and I'm the Vice President of Services for CCB Technology. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this first of four installments in looking at Microsoft's Office 365 solution. Let's jump right into it. The agenda for today is going to be pretty simple. The first thing we're going to look at is just a brief overview of who we are at CCB Technology. Then I want to give you as well an overview of what is Office 365. And finally, I want to look at the varying plans and pricing that are available to corporate and nonprofit customers as it pertains to Office 365. CCB Technology was actually started back in 1991, and our heart and mission really at the very beginning was to serve nonprofit organizations across the nation. And so our founder, Chris Booth, actually helped create the Microsoft Charity Licensing Program. That spanned into a number of different offerings with different vendors, such as Adobe, Trend Micro, Dell, so on and so forth. And he really was the visionary and the founder for that. So we've been in business now for over 25 years, and for many of those years, we were primarily focused on working with the nonprofit community. But about five to six years ago, we actually made a major shift and started working with a number of different types of entities as well that fell outside of the nonprofit sector. Those could include corporate customers, healthcare, academic, and government. And so now we've served over 50,000 organizations plus across the nation in helping them procure and also implement and manage their technology solutions. Now, as it pertains specifically to Microsoft and even more so to 365, you can see some of those notable accolades that we've received from Microsoft or other organizations. We've been actually noted in the Wall Street Journal as a CCB Cloud Innovator. We've won multiple awards from Microsoft and helping deploy over thousands of users on Microsoft's Office 365 solution. So what actually is Office 365? That's a question that I ask a lot of times to clients when I'm, when I'm talking to them about it for the very first time. And they often give me the response of, well, I assume it includes something with Office, right? Word, Excel, PowerPoint, so on and so forth. And I say, that's exactly right. Depending on which plan you get within Office 365, you either get what Microsoft calls their Office web app, which would be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, all available and accessible through a browser. Or you might also get a full version of Office 2016. And in some cases, it would be Office Pro Plus 2016, which would enable you to download that version of Office on up to five devices per user, and that would include things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Publisher, Access, so on and so forth, right? So yes, at its basic level, it includes some form of the Office application. Now, in addition to that, Office 365 also includes three other key components. The first one is going to be Microsoft's Exchange, which is really their email application that's used on the back end to enable administrators to really properly manage your mail clients. So for all of us on the client side, we're used to Outlook, right? Whether it's the newest at 2016, whether it's 2013, 2010, back to 2007, hopefully you're not on 2003. But if you are, it's really that as we see it every single day. But in order to enable that to run function and function properly, you really need Exchange on the back end. And that's really what Microsoft has now included is both the mail client, which we would all use from the end user portion, but also the actual admin portion of that, the Exchange application to administer your Exchange environment effectively as well. Now, the next one is going to be Microsoft's SharePoint, or also known as OneDrive, which is a separate application but related to it. And really, SharePoint is, at its basic level, a document repository. But it takes it one step further in that it enables you to actually not just view these documents and interact with them, but actually collaborate with different users at the same time. I believe that Microsoft actually allows up to 99 users in a single document. And that could be a Word document, an Excel document, a PowerPoint document, whatever it might be. In the later installments, you're actually going to see what that looks like as I show you when you're able to collaborate amongst users within the same document at the same time. Now, you heard me reference very quickly earlier OneDrive, and in many cases this falls under SharePoint, but it is also its own application. And where SharePoint really is meant to enable users to access documents that are being shared across one another, OneDrive is really meant to be utilized as that personal drive storage. So for us internally, our, our H drive in the past was what we utilized as the shared file storage, and our G drive is what we all used personally, right? And that's really what the OneDrive application really is meant to be used for. But a major benefit of that, I would say, is the amount of storage that Microsoft gives to every single user, no matter what the plan is that you're using within Office 365. And that amount of storage is actually up to one terabyte. And in some cases, it could potentially even be more. But that is an exorbitant amount of storage for most users when they're most likely just going to be storing Word, Excel, PDF documents, so on and so forth. And again, in a later installment, I actually show you what OneDrive looks like and how you can effectively use it.
The last key component really is Skype. And many of us know what Skype is, but on the Microsoft side, it used to be called Link, and then Microsoft purchased Skype and rolled it into what is now called Skype for Business. And so Skype at its basic level is an instant messaging and presence type tool. It enables you to see if people are available, if they're not, it enables you to reach out and ping them really quickly. But it also does take it one step further by enabling you as well, not just to instant message really quickly or see if someone's available or not, but it actually also enables you to do video chats. It now enables you to have a full hosted PBX solution in there as well, all through Office 365. It allows you to do screen sharing, so on and so forth. So it really has become a true unified communications type solution. So now that we've kind of gone over those four main components, let's just break down really quickly what the plans are. And the very first thing I'll say is as you're viewing this, this is a lot of information. And so if you if you need to kind of break this down even further, I would first encourage you to go to our website because it's got this same exact document broken out there that you can view at your leisure. Or just reach out to your CCB account manager. We've got a, a number of different resources that we can utilize to send to you and then also just walk you through so you really can understand this better to make sure that if you move forward with Office 365, you're making the right decision on which plan you want to go with. But the general overview as it's broken down is you have two main platforms. The first platform platform is the business platform, and the second platform is the enterprise. The basic way to break those out is that within the business platform, it's really intended for users that have 300 users in their organization or less. Enterprise, it's absolutely unlimited. Now, for those of you that might kind of be on the cusp of that, you might almost be over 300 users or you could potentially grow to that, you could look at utilizing the business platform now and then grow into or convert over to the enterprise platform later on if needed. But there are additional features and functionality that even if you fall under those 300 users, you don't necessarily want to negate yourself or remove yourself from thinking you don't need the enterprise because of some of those features that might, might actually be needed within your organization that are included in the enterprise platform. Outside of that, you can see that from a business pricing and then even a nonprofit pricing, the pricing is different. And this is just because of what's intended to be used for as well as some of those additional features and functionality baked within it. Now, most of our users are utilizing actually either the E1 or the E3 platform. And really the basic difference between those is that within the E3 platform, you're going to be getting that full version of Office. Whereas within the E1 platform, you're only going to be getting the Office for web apps. Now, the same thing holds true for the business premium as well as the business essentials, right? So the business premium giving you that full version of Office, whereas business essentials is really only giving you Exchange, SharePoint, Link, so on and so forth, right? Now, there are some additional features that Microsoft built into their E3 platform, and those could be things such as the uh, enterprise management of apps, the self-service BI, and different compliance and information protection as well as e-discovery. Now, Microsoft just actually recently released their E5 platform, and this really, it includes some additional compliance and information within there. It includes some additional um, Power BI, as I like to call it, applications within there as well. But the big thing that I want to say they included within the E5 platform is the ability to, through Skype, have a PSTN conferencing or have a full cloud PBX set up all through your Office 365 tenant where you're actually managing that. So if you're currently running an old PBX system, not happy with your VoIP solution and want to look at something different, this actually now is something that's included within Office 365. And so for you, if you're interested in something like that, this could definitely be a compelling thing that on top of everything else that Microsoft has included within Office 365 is now an additional feature built within. So with all of that, I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this very brief installment of just looking at what is Office 365, just the basic features and components, as well as the plans and pricing. I know that I went through everything very quickly, so if you have any questions about this, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. The best way to get a hold of me is via email, and you can reach me at logan.mccoy at ccbtechnology.com. Thank you, and have a great day.